Good morning, this is Dr. Gabe Roberts at Back to Nature Lifestyle Medicine, and today I want to give you a little bit of information on uh, cleansing reactions and why they occur, what kind of what's going on, and some steps you can take to minimize the effects of the, uh, the you know, the feeling ill during a cleansing reaction, okay? So the whole purpose of a, uh, a cleanse is, and we went over that before in a, in a different video, is that uh, people come in and they have all these burdens, these immune burdens going on inside their digestive tract, particularly the, the bowel, okay? Um, our, our digestive system house the immune system, okay? About 90% of it's in the immune system. And when we start to have digestive disturbances and we start to not break down food properly, we start to, um, over years time, this, this starts to build up and build up inside the bowel and this makes an inhospitable environment for our healthy gut microbiome to live and thrive in there. So the whole purpose of a cleanse is to minimize this immune burdens on the, on the uh, individual, okay? And while we're doing that, we're using powerful herbs. And sometimes they can go in there and they can kill things off that are not supposed to live in there. Uh, these infectious burdens that uh, compromise our digestive, they compromise our immune system, they compromise our ability to absorb nutrients, important macronutrients, calcium, uh, minerals, magnesium, so on and so forth, and essentially all of our B vitamins, okay, are unable to be absorbed when this digestive system, when this bowel health is poor. And you'll never, you will never fully optimize that bowel health uh, until those burdens are removed. I don't care if you get genetic testing done and you're eating a very strict diet, you'll get some symptomatic relief from that. But when the holidays come back, when your birthday rolls around, uh, you travel out of town and your and your diet alters a little bit, and if those if those burdens are still there, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna have food sensitivities. Okay. So what we do is we do a cleanse to get rid of this burden inside the bowel. And a lot of times they're using powerful herbs, okay? These herbs are killing microbiomes that should not be there, uh, inappropriate bacteria, inappropriate uh, fungus, inappropriate pa parasites that, you know, oftentimes live there. And a cleansing reaction is just the herbs actually getting rid, killing these organisms off faster than your body can flush them out. That's exactly what a cleansing reaction is. And we all kind of have those. We all have those at some point. Uh, if you ever get the flu, if you ever get a fever from having strep throat, okay, very common. What happens is uh, during a strep throat, um, your body is overwhelmed with uh, pathogenic bacteria, okay, bacteria that will actually um, be in areas it shouldn't be. It's the wrong kind of bacteria. It's not our healthy, our healthy microbiome. This is inappropriate bacteria, right? And when it's uh, roaming around where it shouldn't be, you don't feel that. You're never aware of that. It's whenever your immune system, your own immune system, finds this foreign invader, locks onto it, okay? And these are white blood cells, these are macrophages. They, they identify the foreign invader and they start to use very powerful inflammatory mediators um, to actually cause the bacteria cell to explode. It's called uh, apoptosis. And when this foreign bacteria, okay, uh, whenever it's getting attacked by your immune system, this process itself causes the person to feel icky and achy, okay? In addition to when this bacteria actually explodes, the remnants left behind of this bacteria, or perhaps it's a parasite, or perhaps it's fungus. Fungus is notorious for storing heavy metals. And when you kill that off, your immune system kills it off, okay? It releases powerful interleukins, cytokines, and these are very inflammatory mediators that will make the person feel um, like you're getting the flu. Uh, you might feel very stiff, you might feel achy, you might have some sleeping problems, you might have fatigue, a new fatigue that you've never felt, okay? Because your immune system is now waking up and starting to work, and that work is kind of, you know, if you're already near tapped out, and now your cells are working a little more, you'll, you'll get extra fatigue, okay? So during this time, it's a good idea to give our office a call. That's why we monitor you during these cleanses to see that the desired effects are happening and happening at a rate that's you know good for the person to still function day to day living and you know still go to work and so forth without without having too much of a burden with these cleansing reactions. Okay, um, some steps to do to 
that you can do on your own to speed this process along is have organic lemons, okay? That's really cheap medicine, okay? Nature's medicine. Put some organic lemons, uh, you wash them off, put them in your um, a Ziploc bag and put them in your refrigerator drawer and they'll stay fresh for a long time. Whenever you start having that ill filling effect, um, get an organic lemon, make a little cut in one side of it and watch a clock, have a timer nearby. And literally every 15 minutes, okay, put about five drops directly in your mouth. Every 15 minutes, five drops more. 15 minutes go by, five drops more. And keep doing that. And you'll start to feel a big difference because you're getting a very potent form of vitamin C that is not the synthetic version. That's in about 99% of all our, our all these supplements that are sold out there, uh, again, by um, health proclaimed gurus and even some functional medicine doctors I know of use a lot of synthetics and they can make the person sick. So organic lemons are a great way to help flush out the remnants of that bacteria. Okay, those inflammatory mediators, organic lemons help flush that out. The same with a really good quality bone broth. Um, Tiffany and I prefer to get bone broth if we're gonna buy it from Sprouts. It's, it's very cost effective, high quality. Um, have some of that nearby. And bone broth is full of essential minerals, branch chain amino acids that are all building blocks for the body to uh, to replace what's been going on with this um, cleansing. Okay, whenever you have minerals coming in from bone broth, it's actually very detoxifying. It'll help flush the uh, remnants out even quicker. Um, green tea is another one. You want to make sure it's a good organic green tea. Teas and coffees are notoriously sprayed with pesticides, herbicides, so you want to make sure it's a good organic green tea. Um, try not to use any sweetener if you do, maybe a little bit of organic honey, um, things like that. But green tea will help tie up those free radicals that are released when the when the cells, when the bacteria actually are killed off. Uh, sometimes they release a lot of free radicals and that's what makes you feel sick. Green tea is another way of tying those up helping minimize the, uh, the harmful effects of the cleansing reaction, okay? Uh, for further information about this, feel free to get a hold of our office at Back to Nature Lifestyle Medicine <clears throat> uh, at Gmail. It's backtonaturelm at gmail.com. And until then, enjoy the rest of your day.